module 3 creation of healthy and caring relationships by sneha lata building communication skills listening and speaking there are specific things to do that can improve your communication skills listen listen and listen as we know humans are social being they always need people around them communication plays a vital role to develop and maintain relations too whom you are talking matters when you speak you repeat what you know but when you listen you explore new things which you don't know while talking with elders it should be in a polite manner with children we speak softly with friends compassionately and with each person it differs three body language matters body language refers to verbal and nonverbal signals that we use to communicate with our facial expressions to body movement the things we don't say can still convey volumes of information four check your message before you hit send five be brief yet specific choose your words wisely put your mind in your before you put your mouth in action six write things down we can express our feelings and thoughts in words by writing convey your message or thoughts feelings in a short clear and calm manner seven dot sometimes it's better to pick up the phone talk before you misunderstand a person communicate before it may become too late eight dot think before you speak talk with your mind and heart in control nine dot treat everyone equally you can only accept respect if you treat others with the same be kind to everyone 10. Dot, maintain a positive attitude and smile be positive develop positive attitude as i said in my last video develop satva gunna next we discuss about listening listening consists of four main steps they are to stop talking when a person is talking first we have to listen it completely then only we have to respond to it when you stop telling you give more room for the other person to talk receiving receiving is the intentional focus on hearing to a speaker the sounds we hear have no meaning until we give them their meaning in context which happen when we filter out other sources so that we can isolate the message and avoid confusing mixture of incoming words interpreting and an interpreting stage of listening we combine the visual and auditory information and try to make meaning out of that here we begin to understand the stimuli we have received responding responding adds action to the listening process a listener can respond to what they hear either verbally or non-verbally non-verbal signals can include gestures such as nodding their head smiling rolling their eyes or any other body language these kinds of responses can be displayed purposefully or involuntarily responding verbally might involve asking a question requesting additional information When the listener expresses gratitude or pleasure for the speech it is called appreciative listening listeners applaud the speaker empathy is means to understand and share the feelings of another during empathetic listening the listener puts himself in the position of the speaker interpreting is the third step in the listening process after listening to the talk seriously and noting important points interpret the contents of the speech Using non-verbal cues which show understanding such as nodding, eye contact, and leaning forward. These are some types of active listening skills. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more.